Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a, a new geoid model to your coordinate system manager in Trimble Business Center. So, if you notice in the Trimble Business Center startup page, there's some notifications over here on the right. Um, there have been some new uh, geoid releases for geoid 18. Um, you'll see those here in the notifications list. Um, as of September 25th, the release of geoid 18 adding geoid 18 as a user defined geoid model there's some instructions here or you can just watch this video so what we want to do is go to um, the geoid files web page so there's a here button or a link to where those are stored um, and we can download any geoid, geoid model from this web page so i'm going to go into the geoid model that i want to download um, for my instance, I work in Minnesota, so I'm going to download the geoid18 Minnesota file. You can uh, download the CONUS file for continental U.S. Uh, just simply download your file. Now, as for saving the file, um, if you save to your downloads folder, what you're going to want to do is copy and paste it into the folder where I'm going to be downloading and saving my file to. So where we're, we're going to end up putting this geoid file is under the C drive, program data. Notice that program data is a hidden folder. So you need to enable um, hidden files, folders, and documents. Um, one way to do that on Windows 7 at least is to hit this organize drop down and then go to your folder and search options. You might have to do that from um, a regular Windows um, Explorer um, window um, instead of this save as window. Just an FYI, you need to enable those as visible. So we're going to go into program data, find Trimble. This is assuming you have Trimble Business Center already installed, and then geodata. This is where we're going to store our GGF file. So hit save, and now we can minimize this web page. Next, we want to launch the coordinate system manager um, program. So we can do that from our start button and type in coordinates and you'll see coordinate system manager here as a program in the list. Launch this program and from here what we can do is start adding in our uh, geoid model as a custom or user defined geoid, geoid model. So if you click on geoid models, you'll notice that um, all the geoid models that have uh, that exist uh, exist in this list. You will not see uh, geo geoid 18 quite yet. What we need to do is set that up as a user defined geoid model. So what we can do is right click on the word geoid models over here in the tree on the left, hit add, and now we're going to add the geoid model properties. So the name for the geoid model that I have downloaded and want to add in here is my Minnesota geoid 18. So I'm going to call it Minnesota geoid 18. Okay. Now what we need to do is search from the list. So this is going out to that geodata folder and allowing, allowing you to pick the proper GGF file. And you should see now your G18 GGF file in the list. So we are associating this GGF file with this user-defined geoid model. Okay, so the name can be whatever you want it to be, as long as you pick the correct file name and hit OK. Now I see in my list Minnesota geoid 18. If we right click on that and choose properties, we can uh, verify those properties that we had just populated. And then the lastly, what we need to do is click the save button. Now we can close the coordinate system manager. If we start a new project, I'm going to go into my coordinate system details and I'm going to change the coordinate system. I'll choose my Minnesota County Hennepin. Actually, I'm going to choose from uh, coordinate system and zone. I'll choose from my Minnesota counties. 
go down to the county I'm located in, hit the next button, and then choose a predefined geoid model. And there's my Minnesota geoid 18. Hit finish. Now it's using the geoid 18. Hit OK. And now we're set up ready to go. So if you're a Trimble Access user, one of the things we'll need to do is add that same geoid model onto our data collector under the System Files folder. So you can see here I'm in my Trimble Data, System Files, and I have my geoid 18 mngGGF file loaded. Now what I can do is start a new job and go ahead and type in a job name. Choose from my typical coordinate system list using a geoid model and using geoid 18 there. All right, so here's my job. I'm just going to key in a point here for fun. And now I can exit out of my Trimble Access um, emulator. Now I'm going to search for that job and go ahead and import it into my TBC project. So here's my job file. Got my TBC project ready for import. And I'm going to do an import. And here's an, a message that says Minnesota geoid 18 could not be found in the database. Okay, so what this means is that this name, this geoid model name was not found in the coordinate system manager database. So it's asking to pick one from the list below. Now I could go in here each time and locate my Minnesota geoid 18 model and that would be just fine. It's using the same backend file that GGF file, it's using the same file on the back end, so everything should translate properly. The reason why this select geoid model message is pop popping up is because this name here is not exactly how I typed in the name when I created the user defined geoid model. Okay, I have a space between geoid and 18, whereas in this case, there is no space. Okay, so again, we can choose geoid, uh, the user defined Minnesota geoid 18 from the list, and everything would be just fine. Okay, or if we back up a step and go to our coordinate system manager, we wouldn't get that error message if we came in here and edited the name of our user-defined geoid model. So we would right-click on our user-defined geoid model, properties, and rename this without the space. And I believe that was all caps as well. Hit OK and save. Now if I start a new project, Let's try importing the job one more time. And no error message. So this should all be set up in my job coordinate system, Minnesota Geoid 18, Hennepin County, ready to go.